Hey guys, my name is Seti again. Welcome to City Bus Manager. We're back again where we're going to be creating a brand new bus company in this brand new series. But the twist is, we are solely going to create an electric bus company. We're going to be using these e-buses on that green energy. We're becoming environmentally friendly. And that is what we're going to be focusing on in this brand new series. And if you guys do enjoy it, smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new in here so you get notified when more videos from this brand new series do come out. Welcome to the brand new company of eFolio. Get it? Because e electric. <laughs> Hilarious, Seniac. So, what are we going to be doing then? Well, so, we're going to jump straight into a brand new game and we're going to give ourselves a brand new name. I'm literally calling ourselves the eFolio. eFools Transport. Yeah. Uh, if, I, if I can type it correctly, eFools <laughs> Transport. Uh, I, I still can't even type it right now. I'm, I'm that excited. I can't press buttons on a keyboard. And we've got the e Falls trans, uh, Transport. We are going to be going to North America. And we're going to be going to uh, the USA. Because I want to start this company in San Francisco. Oh, yeah. The place where technology is created. Not really. It's in Silicon Valley, but this is just up the road and it's got a Golden Gate Bridge. So what more could you pretty much ask for right now? So we're going to press next and we'll make it a city kind of background. Normal mode. We've got 200,000 big ones to work with. Let's let's start the game. And here we go, boys. The brand new company, eFolios. I mean, eFolios. eFools Transport right now is here. We kind of need to work on the name a little bit. But the message is clear. Transport everybody on green energy. And what a perfect place to pretty much start right now. So we're in San Francisco, boys. We've got this massive, huge peninsula to pretty much work with right now. We're actually surprised of how much surface space and area we get to work with right now. As this is our starting tile. All the way up here, you've got the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, what's cool is I've actually been here in real life. So... Not saying I know the place, but I have a kind of understanding where some of the tourist spots are because I went there literally as a tourist. Uh, and do we have Alcatraz? We do have Alcatraz. Maybe we could create a bus through an Alcatraz. I don't see how that's going to work. But we need to figure out then where are we going to be having our bus depot? Now, there's many places in which we can pretty much put it. I kind of do feel like I want to be near all the tourist hot spots and stuff like that. Um, so, ooh. but then again, also having a centralized location is always a good idea. But we've got this big road that splits down here, which leads down to this diagonal road there. The highway is not too far away. A little bit of the highway there. It's weird because in San Francisco, the highway comes through, stops, and then picks back up again. I know, crazy. So I reckon because it will be absolutely hilarious, that's what I think. We incorporate the <laughs> the bus depot, maybe on Lombard Street. You know the big famous windy bendy road? <laughs> Could you imagine trying to pull the buses out of the depot on Lombard Street? That would be hilarious, but let's not go down that road. Let's pretty much have it here surrounding all the tourist hotspots. So at the end of Jefferson Street here, we're going to build our very own depot. Boom. I would like to place my depot here, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, because this is quite a populous area and there's a lot of uh, people around here in hotspots, I wonder what my subsidiary percentage is going to be. Now, we'll check that out a little bit later because we've got lots of work we need to get done right now to set up our service center. So we've got the building that we pretty much get to work with right now. Absolutely glorious. And we now need to kind of do a couple of the tutorials here to kind of get us to the point where we're ready to buy our first bus and set our first bus route all up. So, service center then. We're going to extend it a little bit. I feel like we need to make it a little bit bigger than what it currently is. So if I kind of do a uh, four by six there, if I do the same on this side, a four by six, boom. Nice, 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 which will then lead into a corridor system. Now, if I get this just perfect, so I'm just kind of figuring out my corridor system to begin with. So if I do a 10 by 3 and walk off that way, this is where the people come in and demanding things and also buying tickets at the same time. So we'll get a door just there, which will lead through. But let's just sort out the kind of the service area first. So 
We need to equip uh, the service with some one service desk, apparently. We need to kind of squeeze in. So if I place you there, one there, we'll do one there as well. And that's a door for the staff area. And we need at least two seating options as well. Now, we've got the armchairs, we've got the normal chairs, and they're the only chairs we pretty much get. So let's go with the, the black armchairs. They look pretty nice, right? And we'll do one, two, three, four. Are they cheap? They're 160. One, two, three, four. So a couple of seats in there for like a little bit of a mini waiting room. This already looks pretty nice. So now we've got to build the offices then. This is where all the shenanigans go down. So I reckon then we go back to the corridor systems and we build down this way. So we'd also do a another... Let's do a 15 by 3 going this way and we can build some offices that way. And then we'll do a 15 by 3 here. Bam. And leading that way. Now the end of this corridor here is pretty good. I can throw a tinted door in. Uh, because it become an entry point or an exit point for the staff to walk into the depot rather than walking all the way around. I might put one on that side as well eventually. And then around here we'll start building our first couple of offices. So office wise then, build an office. And we'll go and do a 6x6. A six six. Yeah, that could pretty much work. Eh? If I build a 6x6 six six there and then a 6x8 here. or Now I, now I kind of want to do 7x6s. So, 6 by 7 there. Oh, hello. I didn't want you to do... <laughs> I didn't want this to go all the way. Right, hold on. I built a wall, baby. I built a wall. Yeah. And I'll build one more office. So, this is going to be a... Oh, no. I keep forgetting. I keep legit forgetting right now. Actually, to be honest with you, the way that this currently is going to be, I don't think we're going to have to squeeze much of it in. So a 6 by 7 to the... Oh, I've gone completely screw if. Right, hold on. Let me just go to there, boys. This will make sense in a minute. This will make sense legit in a minute. A wall across, missing the wall section just there. So we've got two smaller offices and a nice wider large office, which I might kind of smallen down and turn the big one into my research place. Even though they do the research in the offices anyway. Uh, oh, then again, I could turn that into a locker room. That might be the better option for me, is to turn that into the locker room. So, the, the the actual offices need to be accessible. So, we'll do a door just here. We'll do a door up there. We'll do a door here. And then we'll do a door just there. So, a couple of doors thrown in right now. No door faces the other. So, there's plenty of room and space to kind of walk in and walk out. We need at least one standing desk. So, standing desk. We'll start here first. So, rotate this. There we go. And we also need at least one armchair or a chair in general within the actual office. So that's all I need there to kind of build the first one. But we got a couple there set up just to be on the safe side. So next then we need to build a kitchen. So back into build mode. Kitchen. This is where all our staff members eat their delicious foods. And do I go really, really big to begin with? Or should we keep it kind of small and simple? A 7x7 seven seven, or just go for the full distance? 7 by 15. Let's go for the full distance. Why not? Why not, boys? And I'm going to do a door here. But I'll also implement a door there. And then a door just there. So there's multiple entry points for the actual kitchen itself. So staff can kind of make it really, really easy for them to get in and out. And we need to place at least a one refrigerator in. And one vending machine as well. Now, where's the vending machine? Ah, there's the vending machine, boys. There we go. And because it does, even though it doesn't say, we're gonna get a, a couch table. That's weird. Um, we're gonna get a couple of chairs in. So if I place the chair for like some example there, even though like they can't use that as a dining chair. Oh, it's not okay. Right, forget that. How do I move that now? <laughs> oh no, I think I've broken it. Right, move you there. Well, <laughs> I just I just thought something really funny in my head. I can make them all sit around and sing Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya. Right, anyway. Uh, very weird, but let's just roll with it. I'll probably end up deleting that anyway. And I think now then, <clears throat> the last thing we need to build for the actual depot itself is a bathroom. So if I build the bathroom here, 
which is a bit bigger than everything else, but it's okay, it's okay, boys, it's okay. Um, we'll build that to there, and then we'll place in... Da -da 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 -da. What do we need to place in? A toilet, of course. <laughs> Let's think then for a second. Wait, what does a bathroom need? It needs a couple of toilets, and it also needs a door as well. So we'll place a door just there. Right. So this is now all done then. I'm pretty much ready to start building the outside and to start then implementing my buses for my bus company. Now remember, we are E, okay? We are energy efficient. We are environmentally friendly. So remember that moving forward. So let's build the road then. So the street, build street. And then this comes down to here, to there. And I reckon we'll bring it to there and then we'll make the road go up to wherever it ends. It's a pretty easy and standard start. So, place two bus space in your premises. A bus space must be connected to the street and then buy two buses. So, I don't know what buses I can buy yet. So, I've got two options. I can kind of start with a small uh, kind of a bus parking space. Or, I can go large to, like, you know, all together. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, boys... Um, I'm trying to turn this around right now. There we go. At the end of the day, all buses can park in the large car parking spots. So do I pull it here or do I flip it over on this side? I feel like we're going to flip it over on this side to begin with. So I'm trying to get you to snap in. So if I had one, two, I'll buy four, three, and then four. Because all, all sizes can park in this, so... There's no uh, no stress for us. And then we need to buy two buses. Now, remember, they've got to be energy efficient, boys. They've got to be energy efficient. So, um, bus fleet, is this where you buy it? Yes, buy a new bus. And the only way we know that they're energy efficient is because they have the electric symbol. But also, you have different stats as well. Shows you the, uh, the kind of the battery capacity. How many miles per gallon of E energy? <laughs> I don't think that's what it stands for. <laughs> Mars per gallon energy. But you get the point. You get the point. I feel like... It's, oh, hold on. This is all I can actually buy, isn't it? Yeah. So, okay. Two options then. I could either go for the uh, City LLE or the E-Way. The City is 60 passengers, so it's five more and has 32 seats. This one has 55 passengers, but only 16 seats. Now, the difference is this one has a bigger battery capacity, so it can go a little bit further and a little bit longer. But these have more seats, which from what we remember in the past, when I did the first series on this, people like to sit down. So I might go for the City LLEs. Now, they don't have air conditioning. Shock. Uh, and they don't... Oh, can I do upgrades? Apparently not. Um, small, small, small. So if I buy two of these puppies, buy. Oh, I forgot about this. We have to design the color scheme for it. I literally forgot about this. So remember, boys, we are green energy, which means one thing. The buses have to be green. Okay, maybe not bright green, but, you know, we'll go to about there. And then what colors? Where? Oh, oh, oh it's the roof. So I could keep it all black. I can like do a black and green kind of style. <laughs> Why does it look like it's got a face with chubby cheeks? <laughs> right, let me just see what it will look like if I had the roofs green. It does look it looks like it looks you know what from this angle, it's a face with chubby cheeks and its hair flicks up and goes back. Why does it look like a fat kid? I'm sorry, boss, I didn't call you a fat child. I didn't call you a fat child. Uh, anyway, boys, let's put some um, some let's do some decals. Now, can I import my own decals? I gotta find right now where my own decals are. So, D, bam, uh, images, uh, logo, and I can't remember which is my one. I need to kind of quickly figure out, boys. Give me a second. Give me a second. Um. Because I have many different variations of my own logo. Actually, if I go up one and then go the C1-1. Right, there we go, boys. Is that the new Seniac logo? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Right, so I could pull it up here. Let's make it small to begin with. Now, I don't. I feel like on the side is kind of a good idea. Keep it simple. So we'll do one there. And then we'll also do one there. 
Nice. We'll do one here. And then now this one, we'll do them at the front of the wheel arch. So one there, and then one there. So it's a little bit different to that one versus this one, which is pretty good. Now, I could put a logo there or up here, but I'm going to save that for like the numbers of the buses and whatnot. Keep it as it is. And I think that would be pretty much good. There's no need to do anything additional. No need to do anything legit crazy. It's just, just a simple green livery. And that's all it needs to be. Like, seriously, that's all it needs to be. Oh, this is quite exciting. So let me save this real quick right now. Let me save a folio. Save locally and apply. So I, I at least can use that if I buy any more of these style of buses. <clears throat> right. The brand new eFolio fleet is coming in. See what I mean? You might as well just buy the large ones to begin with because you can always... They, they, all different variations of buses can park in it. So now then, we need to set up the rest of the stuff to get all of our employees and then we can officially, officially create our first route. So, uh, corridor then, we need to get set up some lockers. Now... Oh, it has to be in a corridor, doesn't it? I keep forgetting. I was going to turn one of these rooms into it. So, do you know what? If I built the corridor to here... Okay, no, you've got to delete it. Right, let me just delete this in question. Why didn't I delete this little strip? <laughs> What's going on, boys? Let's go in on. Right, build corridor. So the corridor extends and comes into this area. I've got to now put a door in that room. Uh, and this is where I can then place in then all of my lockers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll go quite crazy in an OTT. One, two, three. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm counting. It makes no difference. And then can we place a bunch of lockers then? One, oh. Two, three. I gotta delete that one there. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Right, there we go. We have a bunch of lockers in a locker room. And to be honest with you, I could throw a couple here as well. That couldn't have worked out any better if I tried. It's a shame you can't make it as a room, though. You know what I mean? It's a shame you can't do that. Right, anyway, boys, let's hire some drivers right now. So, staff, we need to hire employees, and we'll start with our bus drivers, and we'll sort them by their skill. So, and obviously, we need some have a good friendliness as well, but also skill is quite important. So, hire you. Hire you. Nice. Mechanics, we'll hire you. Researchers, we'll hire you. Cleaner. Oh, the cleaners aren't very friendly, boys. I might just go for a really friendly one just to have the terrible skill. But then again, the friendliness doesn't maybe matter as much. I'd rather have a friendly cleaner. <laughs> and then a service employee. These are going to have the skill and the friendliness. So we'll go for this one here. Right, that's all the employees we then kind of need. They're into my little locker room right now, which is kind of crazy. Um, putting on their work uniform. And we've now need to build a gas station. Now, problem is, I can't build a gas station because we're an e-company. But it does say, if you only want to use e-buses, build a charger instead. So, on the street, boys, how do I build a charger? Bus charger. There we go. Oh, and you apply it to the stand. Right, one, two, three, four. Easy peasy. So I'm assuming then we don't need to then refuel buses, do we? We can just straight up, they park here, they get recharged, right? Is that how it works? Oh, range, 93 miles. That's something else we have to take into account as well. So we've also got a place down a bus wash. So street, a bus wash. I mean, might as well go big and large. So place the bus wash just there. And then we need to do the mechanic building as well. 
So if we go for the large platform. Oh, that's an issue. Actually, no, it's not an issue. Because if I can situate this just right. I could incorporate the mechanic building into our service center here. Which would actually work out pretty well. So the building's down, but we also need a workshop with it. So if I go to the... Do, 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 do. So what's this class as then? Is it just class as like a normal building? Or is it class as a part of like a warehouse? Like if I built this all the way up... What's this class as in terms of a building? Is it a hallway? Right, delete you. Uh, build hall. Okay, it is. It gets class as a hallway. So if I build that to there. And then can I delete maybe this part here? Because I want my corridor to kind of continue around. To be honest with you. I could delete that little sticky out bit, and I could delete this little sticky out bit as well. I could delete all of this. But then again, I like it being as wide as as what it is. Right, how much is the... I don't want to build a second one, but... I, I, I'm getting carried away. I'm building too much right now. I'm building too much. So if I built that to here... And then we need to get our little warehouse area up and running as well. So, we need a door. So, obviously, we'll do a double door for there, a door in here, and a door just there. Might as well throw a door in just there. And then we need a package shelf, right? Um, right, apparently this is not done. Place a lifting platform, standard. A lifting platform must be connected to a street. Is this not connected to a street? With the workshop, you can repair and maintain. Did you need like a normal one? Hold on. Oh, no. Street. Where's the lifting platform? Okay, a standard one. Weird. Very weird. But it's all gone anyway. So, I think I'm then done. I think I'm then done. And I'm now ready to create my first bus route. So, it's a pretty cool looking depot really, isn't it? It's it's looking pretty good already. Uh, it is starting to get dark shortly. And now we get to create our first bus route. So, let's do this then. So, we got to create a route with at least 10 to 15 bus stops. i got to remember the range is 93 miles, so we can't be going too far. We can't be going too far. Now, I think it would be pretty cool to maybe incorporate a lot of the scenery and stuff like that. So I could, if I wanted to create a bus loop, I could do a point de point stop. There's many ways in which I can pretty much, you know, ultimately set this up. So let's go to create a new route. New route. And we have a couple of options to pretty much go with. Uh, we still need to get a bunch of like little them trophy things to be able to unlock any of the like um, public service routes and stuff like that. Uh, but we could set up one to Steinhardt Aquarium, which leads to over there. But I'm not going to do any public service launch just yet because I kind of just want to make money. <laughs> right, where should we begin? I think we should begin around here somewhere. It seems the most obvious setup. And how small should we do the stops? How big or small should we do the loop? There's lots of decisions we ultimately have to make. So, as soon as we pull out the depot, why don't we have our first stop here, right? And then we're going to then have another stop there. But then again, look at the spacing of the overlapping circles. So, we'll then go to there. We'll then bring it to maybe here or there. Let's do this one here. Strange how it doesn't want to go down that way. Is, is that down to me, is it? It doesn't like... To, okay, right. So some of the roads are broken. That's what we got to understand. So if we'll go to there. 
will then lead down to here, which is all on little train stops and rail yard stops. Right, keep this going. Because there's a, there's a fair few points of interest. And then we'll get to here. And then, is it worth me then bringing it down? So we've kind of gone around. And I reckon we kind of come in and then run up this diagonal back to there. Because I'm electric, remember? I don't want to go too far. But I need to have enough charge that it can do numerous amounts of loops. We're on two miles already. And we've got to go back. So, that's to there. It shows you the radius and collection as well. We've got to get to that point. So I reckon we come down here. And then go up that way. So if I had a stop then just here. And then a stop just there. Oh, I don't like how it's trying to go that way. And then we kind of come back up to just there. So all those stops there cover a wide, you know, wide range of areas here. So we'll do one. Oh, what happened then? So where's that stop, by the way? That stop is here. Can we not have a stop going that way? Oh my goodness me, it doesn't like it, does it? I might have to delete this one. So it gets to there, and then we'll bring it up to then here. To connect into there. To then go there. It doesn't like this road, <laughs> by the looks of it. Into there. And then we've completed the route. You wouldn't have thought it would have been that awkward. You wouldn't have thought it would have been that awkward. But we eventually got the loop set up. So if I change it to like red. Is it a little bit easy to see? Kind of a little bit. Kind of a little bit. But it does what I need to do for now. It's a five mile route. So if they do that loop ten times in a service. It only uses half of the bus's battery. So confirm that. It needs at least two buses on the route, which we've got two buses, and we'll accept it. So, create it successfully. Uh, which depot should the bus be at? I've only got one depot. Uh, don't want to do it. We'll activate the bus route now. And all we got to do is carry 50 passengers. Now, looking at it, it looks really weird now, doesn't it? Because it kind of comes down here. Wait, does it do like multiple loops around this area? I think it must do because of how the road kind of attaches. But I think eventually we'll fine tune the route. This is just my first route just to get up and running. I'm so surprised it can't just go straight and it has to go bam, 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 bam. Really weird. But anyway, let's time jump because we're going to have our first route set up as well. Right, so assign the buses. So assign you and assign you. And we're pretty much good to go. So a notification from... Uh, oh, my subsidiary is 124%. I'm actually quite surprised with that, considering how populated the area is. I'm actually really surprised with that. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. So let's have a little bit of a fast forward then. For these routes to kind of skadoodle out of here. So we're just playing the waiting game. Is that my first driver on the way over? Yep, he's heading out. And then we'll eventually see my second one head out as well. So at the first route, I fully expect it to be super busy. I fully expect these routes to be super busy. Now, they're already getting a few passengers, and it's only 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's so weird how it does that. I will fine-tune this. Don't worry, guys. I will fine-tune it to make it a lot better. So this is where it's going to probably be the busiest. There's a lot of like restaurants and st um, stores and points of interests. So, can I click on the bus itself? Buses. This one. Do, does it not give us like a statistic of um, how much battery is remaining in it? I don't think it does. Anyway, as the day goes along right now, it's going to get more and more busy on these routes. And it's literally 6 a.m. in the morning. And that bus is about to become full to capacity. And that's slightly worrying for us. Because now we can not fully 
kind of carry the full amount of passengers. And I'm not even in rush hour mode yet. I'm not even in the rush hour mode just yet. So we've actually completed our first little goal right there to carry 50 passengers. Got one trophy. Got a bit of cash. I, th I think we actually completed both of them. We've got two trophies right now. So that's pretty good. But it's very busy. Very busy, this bus route. We might need to kind of squeeze in an additional bus or two. It all depends on how bad this rush hour is going to be. Now, in terms of money, obviously we lost money yesterday. Understandable. But... I'm just watching the revenue coming in from ticket prices. Subs so we earn more from subsidiaries than we do in ticket prices, which is pretty good. Uh, we get an environmental reward bonus for being green energy. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Look how full that bus is. So it's only going to get more and more interesting as we tick along. It's only going to get more and more interesting. So I reckon we just let that bus route do its thing. And we'll kind of see... When it does become rush hour, how busy the route ultimately is going to be. But it's a simple route. It's nothing too fancy to scream about. But I don't know whether to do kind of like... What, what do you guys reckon would be the best option? Loops or point to points? Because I feel like we should be going down the point to point route. Because you can carry more passengers back and forth on the same line. If you want to go from there to there, you've got to go all the way around. Where point to point, you can get on either side of the road. You know what I mean? But by gosh, is it going to be a busy side of the road. <laughs> but we're doing all right anyway. We've got to complete four more tours successfully. And when we've got this trophy then pretty much done. So we're in profit on the day so far. We've actually made quite a bit of cash. I'm surprised how low the... So this is currently you receive an environmental reward, uh, the amount of 25% of your earnings with e-buses. The better your car footprint is, the higher the bonus. So apparently that is 25% of our earnings. I don't quite get that. I don't quite get that. Right, that bus is now full to the brim. But it's managing to pick everybody up and transport everybody. So I'm quite shocked on that. So our first bus is now back. And it's all charged up. So that's kind of cool how I no longer have to do any re like refueling. Uh, it charges myself. But I did notice there is this electricity button at the bottom. And it shows us how much um, electricity we used yesterday. How much we're currently using today. And we're not producing anything at all. And I do believe you can kind of upgrade and add solar panels to your bus um, stands and solar panels to your bus kind of um, depot in general. And you can generate electricity and you can sell it back to the grid to make a profit. So that's kind of exciting. That kind of is exciting. So we've got to set that up in a minute. We've got four minutes to do so anyway. Is this bus going to complete its route next? I'm not sure if this is going to be the last time that this bus completes this route. You can normally tell if there's nobody waiting at the fir the final couple of stops, like a lot of people, then it is. It's a case that maybe these here just want to go to that there and stop there. Does that that bus stop has an electric symbol? We can we can add a charging station to the stand. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm I'm kind of in love with this already. <laughs> I kind of am, but um, I reckon we'll end it here, boys. There's a lot we had to do in that episode there just to even get to this point. But I would love you guys to have some input on what you think would be best for us. Uh, currently in our finances right now, you can see our electricity costs. Hopefully we can try and reduce them by building on some of our own solar um, kind of um, plants or solar panels, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> to produce our own electricity. But we're making money straight away. That's the main thing. But this, this here is not going to cut it. We need to carry more passengers. We need to make more money if we had to have a shot at expanding the company. So we'll end it here. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So goodbye.